The Select tool has three different modes, vertices, edges, and faces. All these are affected by your pin size. Now, vertices mode, you can select vertices, of course. You can add to your selection by holding shift, and you can subtract from your selection by holding control. Now there is only one command down here in the sidebar that works with vertices mode, and that would be relax. Next is edges, but there are quite a few commands in that method, so we'll skip onto faces and come back to edges. With faces, I can select a number of polygons. I can delete them. I can subdivide them locally. I can hide them. I can invert the hidden, and I can unhide. So now let's demonstrate subdivide. You can see here those polygons were subdivided locally. And delete, I think, is self-explanatory, but you can see it simply deletes. Lastly is the edges mode. Now there are quite a few commands in here, so let's go through them one at a time. The spin command will spin counterclockwise. The spin back will spin clockwise so you can quickly spin your edges if you like. Next is the extrude tool and let's select a couple of edges here. That should do the trick. And we hit the extrude button. You can see it's extruded and we have a white colored preview of where those polygons will be. And we can continue adding from there. To skip ahead a few tools here we can select based on a current selection, an edge loop, select that edge again, and an edge ring. So to select that edge loop again and then to extrude, I can extrude that whole edge out rather quickly. Next is the split tool. So if we select this edge here, or shall I say edge ring, activate the split tool, you'll notice that it functions much like the split rings tool. You can see a cyan colored preview of where the edge will be and then clicking with the left mouse button will create that split. And if I continue with that selection I can continue to add more and more edges. Next is the collapse tool. It actually functions just like the collapse tool under the tweak section. The only difference is that we must have a selection already. So if we select the polygon and then hit collapse, same as before, it collapses the, that edge and welds on an average between those two points. Same with delete. As with the delete edges tool, you must have a selection to delete those edges. So select a few edges, hit delete, and voila.